Hi, I'm Ron Covell. I've been a professional metal fabricator for over 40 years, and over that time I've done a lot of different work. I worked on race cars, street rods, custom motorcycles, custom furniture, and sculpture. TIG welding was developed in the 1940s, mostly to serve the needs of the aircraft industry where they needed to weld aluminum and magnesium. Initially, helium was used as the shielding gas. That's where the term heliarc welding comes from. Nowadays, it's more commonly called TIG welding. TIG stands for tungsten inert gas. Technically, it's called GTAW welding. That stands for gas tungsten arc welding, but you'll find that TIG welding is the most popular term today. A lot of the work that I do is body work on cars and bikes, and the TIG welding process is ideal for this. Now many people use MIG welding for body work, and while it's strong and it's fast, there is a major limitation, and that is that the weld bead is brittle. So if you do very much hammering on a MIG weld bead, it's liable to fracture. The TIG weld bead is considerably softer and I can hammer on it quite a bit with no fear of it cracking.